Hello guys, in this video, I am going to introduce you to a big news from NVIDIA. It seems then NVIDIA has become jealous of all these companies out there building a lot of generative AI applications, especially the chatbots on top of their GPUs. So they decided, well, it's our GPU, so why not our own chatbot or generative AI application? And that is why enters this RTX. RTS is simply a chatbot which lets you run large language models locally on your own Windows 11 system and you can do real um, or retrieval augmented generation with it or in other words you can talk with your own documents with the help of this RTX. To give you a bit more background on this RTX, NVIDIA has just released this chat with RTX which is a local app that allows you to create a personal AI chatbot based on your own content. So rather than searching through notes or saved content, users can simply type queries. For example, one could ask what was the um, concert my fiancé attended in Melbourne last time when we were in Melbourne, then it will go through your content or maybe your inbox and then get the answer for you. Or you could ask it to generate an itinerary based on your preferences from your last uh, travel, maybe you could upload your air tickets, your hotel reservations, the places you visited last time and then it will go through it and on the basis of your prefer preferences it will give you the future itinerary. There is nothing new about it because you can do the same thing with a lot of other applications or chatbots like ChatGPT or Google's Gemini or even you know you can locally install LLMs by using LM Studio and lot of other things and you can do the same thing but what is different this is the difference is that this is it is from Nvidia so you can do rag with it you can use Mistral or Llama 2 LLMs for text generation accelerated by tensor RT LLM for faster response time and it runs entirely on your GPU whether it is RTX 30 or 40 but you would need more than 8 GB of VRAM and I'll come to the system requirement in a bit which is a bit of a downer but anyway let's save the bad for the last so anyway so if you have a Windows PC you can run this uh, RTX from NVIDIA still early days but quite promising because you can use a lot of um, data sources with it like text files, PDF, documents, XML along with YouTube video transcripts and lot of use cases too around your own um, generative AI applications. Now the bad part is that the system requirements are quite stringent. You would need Windows 11, nothing else works at all. I have tried Windows servers, doesn't work. You would need a PFI GPU from Ampere family and above. So it will be RTX 30 or 40 or add a generation and I would suggest at least have 16 GB of VRAM and not the 8 GB. You should have more than 16 GB of VRAM. I would suggest at least 32 GB to run this. And then make sure that you have Windows 11. And then your NVIDIA driver should be 535.11 or later. So which is uh, almost, I think the latest one is 538, I think. But anyway, so make sure that you meet all of these requirements. If you don't meet any one of them, it won't run, I can assure you. I don't have Windows 11 I and I don't have um, these sort of uh, spec specification because my local system has 16 GB of VRAM but I'm not running Windows 11 so it won't work here on my system otherwise I would have shown you easily. I have tried it in some of the EC2 instances in AWS but because AWS doesn't offer Windows 11 so I was unable to show you unfortunately but anyway. If you're looking for an NVIDIA product to do all of this stuff, then maybe this is a way to go. This was just a review video. If you have already downloaded it and used it, please share your experience in the comments. Very keen to know how you can do it because installing it very simple. All you need to do is to click and download now on the top right, run the exe file. It will check the prerequisites and then next, 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 it will get installed with a local Mistral or Llama model and you can just upload your videos just like you do in chat but it will start working that's about it anyway i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as that helps a lot thanks for watching